This Brother Lodge Festival is about traveling and it's about searching. So now with the flame lit, Chef Tim doing his thing. I would like to entertain you with a story about traveling and searching. I wish I could say it were poignant, but this story is about what you, happens to you when you follow and take life advice from an adult entertainer dancer. It's called a bad case of gas on the way down to New Orleans, and it goes like this. They will find you, she said, as I lit her cigarette while she was still putting the last one out. I had come to this place looking for guidance. My life was at a crossroads. Despite my best efforts, it was coming apart, all due to a disease I was completely unaware of, except for its effects. Its ability to freeze my mind, cripple my emotions, and control my actions. I was getting desperate. So somehow, in the middle of the night, I found myself in this place trying to find a way out. I needed someone impartial to talk to. Someone who'd seen a lot of this world and knew how to survive. I needed advice. And here it was, coming from the lips of a slight woman in her 20s with short bleached hair and a dress that left little to the imagination. Trust me, she said. They will find you. Now, do you want to buy me another drink or do you want to laugh dance? I'll take the dance, I said, and hand her 20 bucks. Advice never comes cheap, especially from a dancer. But at this point, I've given thousands of dollars to shrinks and doctors with no results. And this way, if the advice didn't pan out, I at least get to see some tips. So why are you moving to New Orleans, she asked, straddling me as deaf leopards pour some sugar on me, started to play the strip bar equivalent of Freebird. I don't know, seems different, different from here. I really didn't have an answer. I just wanted out of my life. I was jobless, homeless, and managed in a combination of compulsion, anger, and depression to isolate myself from anyone who once cared to help. Again, it was a ritual I repeated many times that was no longer as painful as it was tiring. I needed a vacation. I needed to get away, away from people I had hurt and somehow get away from this thing that cursed and kept making me hurt them. My newfound pole dancing life coach took a sip from my drink and said, I just moved back from New Orleans. I loved it. It will change your life. Why'd you come back then, I asked. Trying really hard to have a serious conversation with someone gyrating to an 80s metal band. My boyfriend stole all my shit. He found out I was gonna dump him, so he just took everything. So here I am, home sweet home. I imagined for a moment that this dingy shotgun bar with a brass pole and red matted carpeting was somehow her childhood home. A childhood spent tediously practicing the triple axle pole spin after school and being forced to clean up all the undergarments in the dressing room before she could go to bed. A childhood that had Def Leppard playing over and over and over again. I'm so jealous, she whispered in my ear. I wish I could go back. Hopefully I can make enough money to move back. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, it should be cool, I said. I just don't know what to do when I get there. I don't know anyone. It was done on me. I had thought this plan through. Maybe it wasn't wise to move over 700 miles away because of an Anne Rice book he read in a mental breakdown. But if there's a benefit to being mad, it's things that logic, reason, and practicality don't get in the way of you doing some really stupid crap. Especially when women and logic and reason are battling with a woman shaking her butt in a G-string to the rhythms of perhaps the greatest one-armed drummer of our generation. Don't worry about it, I told you. People will find you, she said. It's the way New Orleans works. Is this the dinner? Is this the dinner, Chef Tim?
Before we go to New Orleans, we got the dinner. Get in line. Get some dinner. Right here, Bill. You want some dinner. Someone there. You want some dinner. A man is cooking for you. You don't want any dinner? Someone get some dinner. Get some Shelby Park stew. He will eat it to prove that it is safe. He is chewing it. He lived. So where were we? Some stew. Come up front. Get some stew. Stew from him. Stew for her. Stew for me. Stew for you. Get some stew. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth.